What's up guys, welcome back to JK Fishing. We're just setting up our rods right now. We're gonna go out, we are out trolling for walleye on Lake Erie today. It is a beautiful morning. The sun coming up over Buffalo there. And we're gonna hopefully catch a lot of walleye. See if we can cook some. So stay tuned guys. Open house first. Walleye, right? I couldn't tell you. Didn't even pop the rigger, eh? Right? That's a little walleye. Good eater. Oh yeah. There we go. First walleye of the day. This is a perfect. Forty-six. Eater, That's why. Watch our steering. So I think we found the depth. Yeah, good. Perfect eater size. Look at that hook came out. I'll send her right back. Whether it's a spoon or a, a worm harness, the greasy never disappoints. There you go, a nice guys. little fish, Johnny. There you go. Beauty Walter. Twenty inch. Yeah. All right, let's get him. Get that down. Let's get some more. Next fish on. There. You know what? I thought that was me bumping up against the railing. Oh, oh I felt the head shake. Please don't be upset. Uh oh. Walleye's coming dead. So I'm staying low as so. Oh, no, is it? No, oh, it's going. a big eye. It's a big eye. Oh, wow. Should I just keep it down? Yes, sir. Good net job, Johnny. Man, I, I saw head shakes in. We've had nightmares, the sheep said, if you look at some of our later videos, our earlier videos. But that's like a third, so, uh, 20, 28 inch eye. We're gonna make No, 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 no. I'm calling 23, 28, 28. Good one, Joe. With the walleye. No. Oh, oh my god. Rock bass. I, I Rock saw. bass. Wow, our fish ID skills in this. I, I our I JK I fishing ID skills. Thought this was a walleye because the mouth kind of looks like a walleye. <laughs> Look like a baby walleye. Beauty rock bass. Look at that air bladder. Nice fish. JK. There we go. Here, here, here. Here, here, here. Well, so we just pulled up another walleye. I don't know if you guys saw footage wasn't the best, but uh, yeah, it's tough to tell when you have these fish on. That's why when we like our downriggers, we like to keep them tight and always use the most sensitive downriggering rods you have when fishing for walleye, so you can detect the bites because the bites from these fish are very subtle and a lot of the times they don't pop the clip. Over here, got a jumbo perch. Not jumbo, but not the, the biggest, birds. but not the smallest. Yeah, same family as the walleye. Yeah, main source of food for the walleye. Make a few fish sticks out of that one. Well, hey, limit out on these bad boys, you'd be a happy man. Exactly. All right, guys, we just got off the boat, and I'll be honest, it was a little bit of a slow day. Really slow day. This is the first day on Lake Erie for us going for walleye all year, so it's kind of like figure out what's going on in the lake. And we've been hearing not many numbers, so I mean, three fish, it's meh, but we were out there, it was a nice morning, the lake was pretty, pretty calm, so we were happy with it, can't complain, beautiful, beautiful sights to see on Lake Erie, always a good time out of Point Avenue there. So we are going to show you how to flay this fish now, and then I believe Johnny has a recipe for you, right Johnny? I'll find some. He'll find some. Whether it be some crazy concoction or just a little bit of spice. So, do you think I should swipe her or? No. Nah. So that's the air bladder, guys. See how it compressed because you pull these walleye up from a pretty deep depths. So, you know. You notice too, certain types of fish get it more where they um, they can't control or regulate the air bladder. So when you do catch them and put them in the live bowl and try to release them, they'll go belly up. Whereas different types of fish, 
can uh, regulate the changing in depths better. Mm -hmm. And then we come in. I personally, the only fish I will swipe now are salmon. Walleye, I find the meat is just right to do it like this because you actually save a bit because, again, they do have a little bit of a raised spine. So there we go. That is a beautiful Lake Erie walleye filet. White meat. Skin them for you quickly here. And then remove the pin bones and we will see y'all in the kitchen. And I do like to trim out the belly meat. I know you lose a bit, but it is from a great lake, although Lake Erie is pretty clean. Just do that. Nice and easy in the garbage. And then the pin bones, nice and easy. They're not higher up like a salmon, so you don't lose as much meat when going to remove the pin bones. Exactly, for a normal fish. So, yeah, there you go. Beautiful, boneless, Lake Erie walleye flavor. I'm gonna, how firm I'm gonna stop you right is. there. We'll do that later, but it'll take me too long. Cheek meat, like scallops, great tasting. Anyways, guys, we'll see y'all in the kitchen. Well, guys, we're back in the kitchen, and the recipe that I'm gonna do today is just a simple pan fried walleye recipe. What I have here are the walleye fillets, all clean, pin bones removed, no skin on it. And as you can see, I've dried them off on paper towels so that the flour and the breading will stick better. What I have here is just all-purpose flour. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt in there and a little bit of pepper for added flavoring. And I'm going to make sure to mix it up a little bit with a fork. That's what I'm going to do. You're going to take the walleye filet and lay each side down in the flour and the flour should stick to it because I dried it off on the paper towel and it's not as wet and once you have your walleye filet covered in the flour lay it in the pan we're going to do that with all the walleye filets and then we are going to cook it for you guys as we heat this up, this is just a regular non-stick pan. We put a generous amount of butter on so that the fish has something to fry in. And if you guys notice, we did not put too, or I did not put too much flour or spices on it because I really want to bring out the flavor of the walleye. Walleye tastes very good and why take away from a fish by adding too many spices or too much seasoning. So once we get the butter heated up, we'll uh, put the walleye fillets in and we'll see you then. The butter is sizzling, that means that it's ready to put the walleye on, and we're just going to lie it down, lay it down in the butter, just like that. And we're just going to let that cook. The walleye meat looks ready to flip, and what I'm going to be using, instead of using tongs, I'm going to be using a spatula to ensure that the fish stays in one piece. Just going to slide it under. And give it a flip. The outsides are nice and crispy because of that flour and the butter. So, looks pretty good. We'll let the other side cook and then uh, we'll try some for you guys. By outward appearance, the fish seems to be cooked, but what I'm going to do to ensure that it's not raw in the middle and so we don't possibly get sick from it, I'm just going to take a spatula and see how it flakes off. Flakes off nice and easy. That's how you know that it's ready. Make sure that when you do this, you go in the thicker parts of it because obviously the thicker parts are going to take longer to cook. But the fish looks about done. Just going to put it on a plate and, uh, and try some for you guys. There you go. I'm gonna be trying this fish for you guys instead of Joseph because sadly he has left us, he's gone away for school. But in memory of Joe, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think. Mm. 
Never had a walleye that I didn't like. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Outsides of this are really crispy, but the inside still has that sweet walleye taste that most people like to eat. And it's really well done, if I do say so myself. Anyways guys, that's all for the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.